Well, it's been a nice little buying season here over the last few months. We're going to dive into some recent pickups and just overall market thoughts. Stick around. What's going on, sports card hobby family? It is another day. It is another sports card video. We are back again. Hope everyone is having a great week so far. Starting to get a little chilly here in North Carolina. This weekend, I am heading to New Orleans to watch my Saints. Either the season ends against the Detroit Lions, who have been surging and playing really good football, or somehow we resurrect our season with half our players gone to injury and really underperforming and coaching as a whole being terrible. That's what we've got on deck, friends. Before I get started, huge thanks to today's video sponsor, ComC.com, your home for buying, selling, and flipping all the hottest trading cards. Their consignment marketplace now home to over 33 million cards from baseball's biggest stars like Shohei Otani, Aaron Judge, and Mookie Betts to Marvel favorites like Spider-Man, Thor, and Captain America. ComC has something for every type of collector, so make sure to visit my links down below in the video description, as well as in the pinned comments to start your ComC.com journey today. All right, it's no secret that we've seen card prices move down for the majority of cards. And man, if you're buying and flipping or buying and holding or whatever you're attempting to do, it's been a nice buying time. Now on the selling side, maybe not quite as much depending on what you're trying to sell. But if you are buying, uh, which I have been here recently, there has been some pretty cool things pop up on my radar. First, I've got a shout out Donnie B Collectible sending me this custom 1991 Impel Venom card that he created. He also did my Simpsons cards uh, that I purchased from him going back about a year ago. These custom Simpsons cards, they look like 84 Tops Baseball, but they're Simpsons characters. Anyway, the guy does great work. Donnie B Collectibles. I believe that's what his name is on IG if you want to check him out. All right, let's dive into a couple of the pickups here recently over the last 10 days or so. 2015, I think this is a mosaic prism, numbered to 50, purple mosaic or something like that. Marcus Colston, one of the greatest New Orleans Saints receivers of all time, the quiet storm. No ego on this guy. He just went out there and dominated with his play and won us, helped win us the Super Bowl going back to 2009, 2010. I was happy to pick that one up. And I did get that same exact card, 2015 prism, the gold prism version which I had been looking for. Another one had just recently popped up and I snagged it on auction for a very good price. You guys that watch know that I collect Stranger Things cards and the newest set is that season four set that's come out. They've got hobby boxes, they've got blaster boxes. They do have dual autos. The first autos for Vecna and Eddie, popular characters in this last season of season four. This is one that had popped up. This is the character card that's autographed. They are all sticker autos and this is number one or Henry before he changes over, it's numbered to 11. These blue versions are numbered to 11. And so I always look for these um, and was able to get this at a good price. I noticed that I think it's DA Card World um, or one of the big, the big distributors just put the hobby boxes that were normally about $120 for a hobby box. They had some sort of a sale going on for $89. And I don't know if that's still going, but I'm not one that buys sealed product to open, but just given the strong sales on the secondary market for the hits in the product, and there's some cool cards in there that I would want to add to my PC anyway, at $80, $89 for a hobby box. And, and again, you get like, it's not like you get three cards in the box. It's like, it's like old school. It's like 12 packs, you know, with 10 cards in each. You actually get a decent amount of cards for the, the 80, 90 bucks for the hobby box. But that's something I'll watch because there are some cool hits in there. There's one of ones and different things. So I might actually open product on my channel. We'll see what happens there. So on the same note, this is after one gets blasted into the other dimension and turns into Vecna. This one's numbered to 86, so it's far less scarce if you will. And it is signed by the same guy that plays both characters. And that's the first Vecna auto. The, the other sets don't have his autograph in it. All right, a card I've been looking for on IG and I lost an auction for this going back maybe about a month. And another one had popped up. I've been talking about, so Topps Chrome gets a lot of love. Prism gets a lot of love, but Bowman Chrome Gold Refractors. And this one is 2009 when the Saints won the Super Bowl. 
I just really like the picture on this one, and I really like the design of Bowman Chrome, the, the gold refractors. I got this one at a, at a great price, a hit auction, and so that's one I've been targeting. I know it's not a gold out of 10, it is a gold out of 50, but I still like these. I really like these, especially playing day stuff. You know, I've been offered kind of like, you know, there's Breeze 2022 Prism Gold, you know, Breeze stuff, and I look at it, and it's, it's, they're cool. I like the designs and stuff, but I'm really more after playing day stuff because, you know, people have speculated it's true. I mean, if Prism is purchased and they and Fanatics ends up taking over Prism, then we'll have 2050 Prism Breeze gold refractors as well, probably. So I like playing day stuff. I like going back in time a little bit and kind of chasing after the stuff that people might be a little bit more nostalgic for while he was playing, especially going back to those early years of the Sean Payton, Drew Breeze era, you know, 2006, 2009, 10, and into 2012 is kind of the sweet spot. And I'll buy Prism refractors and stuff that go into 2015 and 18 just because I really like the designs and I like the Prism brand as a whole over time. But I like that sort of stuff for, for my PC guys. Of course, Tom Brady is also a big target for me for that sort of thing. But still quite a huge difference in price between the Breeze and the Brady. And so it's fun to be able to get the, you know, the gold for a player that you really like, like a Breeze. The one other item I wanted to show, this was a big pickup for me here recently. And this is one that I wanted to get back. I had a giant size X-Men number one. This is from 1975. I had this in a 2.5 that I had bought and sold kind of during the, the comic book boom. And I was like, man, I really want to get that comic back. But of course, the eight fives went super, super high in price. And so I was like, well, there goes that. And, you know, unless it comes back down, I'm not going to be in the market for it. Well, these have corrected back down. And so I was able to get into kind of my long-term hold copy at a CGC 8.5. And so I was really excited to add this in one of the kind of the key books, one of the iconic key X-Men books and comic books also focus. If you watch my channel, you know I'm into all different types of collectibles. And so I was happy to pick up the giant size X-Men one. All right, friends, don't forget to join us tonight on my channel. We're going to multi-stream off-centered. will be me, Neo, and Flippin' Steve. It's been a few weeks with the Thanksgiving holiday. We pushed back one week, so we got to catch up. Uh, we are all booked for Atlanta Culture Collision, so excited to talk more about that tonight and just hobby stuff as a whole. So make sure to join us tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.